close to a new pure fiction cycle to be released and before that happens i'm gonna finally get 40k clear at least on one side and i know just how to do that so this pure fiction is really interesting because we actually have a buff that we've had in the past but you can't exactly rely on it too much like it's pretty known at this point that the whimsicality that we got for this rotation is quite weak compared to how we've seen it in the past so jumping into stage four what i'm going to be doing is taking two different teams this time around i did a pure fiction run on this not too long ago where i used a follow-up attack oriented team for the first half but for this time around we're going to be relying with the tried and true acheron dot team mix which is going to be very helpful for shredding the weaknesses and doing a lot of damage there i'm also going to be of course taking free riding since they're not going to be able to break through the weakness otherwise there's a lot of enemies that i'm not going to be meeting the typeness there are a lot of enemies whose toughness i won't be able to attack so being able to use this and rely on my ultimate especially on acheron is going to be pivotal for this for the second side however i am going to be taking a very similar team to how i did last time but unlike then we are going to finally be having rappa here and you know ever since she was released i feel like i haven't given her enough credit like i really need to put some respect on my girl rappa's name because she is really amazing across the board i mean i did say that i consider her like one of the best if not the best erudition character in the game but of course she's gonna feel like that right now because she was just released but in pure fiction this is where she definitely shines and unlike firefly who i keep comparing her to i'm going to be taking the arioso buff which of course increases break damage it's going to be very important just like the first side this is a no-brainer buff i'll show the character builds at the end as always but i do want to focus on one thing that makes this possible i've mixed and matched with break effect and energy regen and i've come to the conclusion that yeah i really do need to use an energy regeneration rope here to be able to make sure that i have her ultimate as often as i can to actually clear through this as quickly as possible okay so this is going to be like how it usually is i'm going to be using as many of my dots to apply that onto the enemies taking advantage of the stacks for acheron and to begin it here i actually can be very efficient to already get acheron's ultimate right off the bat like that's actually pretty good and we'll go ahead and just one shot the dinosaur there there we go nice i do actually have the trend of the universe light cone on fushuan which is really important for this team comp because she gets that so if you don't know what that does is that when she gets hit it'll apply a burn on the enemy which counts as a stack towards akron which is very nice i hope that fushuan is the one that gets targeted as always that's kind of rng based and i think that my akron actually holds up quite well too just because i don't actually have her signature light cone so i'm always impressed for her damage okay that's a good stack and we're gonna get hit by the blast oh it didn't actually hit oh that's that's rough okay so we'll do this and that should go ahead and in this phase i think it's pretty good of course the second one is where it always slows down which is why it always takes me so long but we're already on to the second wave with three cycles left so i mean i think that's still pretty good but all right so let's just go to work i definitely do think Pela is very beneficial on this stage because she has defense down she can attack the ice weakness but at least for my experiences i think that black swan's overall arcana damage helps out more than it would with Pela. maybe that's just me maybe my Pela's is not built strong enough anyway but because we have that buff i mean look i'm able to weakness break them even a little bit there with the old so it's not like i'm missing out on that unfortunately it just wasn't enough but i do have fushuan let's go ahead and pop this nice fushuan okay it's such a shame how like weak the whimsicality is this time like that if that would have killed off the wave right there that would have been really amazing but instead that is not what happened i'm gonna pop akron we're actually really close to kafka's ult as well they're, they're literally not going for fushuan though that's actually unfortunate all right so it's usually inevitable that i have to end up using one more rotation of akron's ult to clear this but thankfully those actions got advanced forward oh actually we don't need to use akron's ult i'm completely fine we did get it but i'm gonna save that for the next side unfortunately we do only have one cycle left so of course i'm not gonna be able to complete this side but i can try to maximize my damage as much as i possibly can most notably taking care of the dinosaurs as they give you a lot of points towards this and maybe killing off some of these smaller enemies couldn't hurt as well thank you yes target my fushuan please there we go one more so i should be able to, if things go right i should be able to squeeze out one more acheron ult before we move on there we go that dinosaur is dead thanks to the whimsicality black swan uh unfortunately it doesn't look like it unless fushuan gets hit here 
which I don't think that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, no. Okay, 29,000 though to end that side off. That's not too bad. I've definitely gotten 30k before on there, but I think that's a pretty good side, especially because I was able to get a lot of stacks with Acheron despite not even getting hit by Fushuan that much. All right, starting off the second half, we have the girl Rappa here. And like I said, I do think having an energy regeneration rope is going to be better for her to actually maintain that. I mean, I'm at 252 break effect here with all the buffs I'm getting from my teammates. So that's actually still a decent amount. But I'll start off with a basic here, followed up with a proc of Trailblazer. And now, the one thing I'd say about this team that I don't like about Himiko, her proc with the follow up is actually before we end up using Harmony Trailblazer. I wish it was a little bit backwards there because then we could actually take advantage of that super break damage a little bit easier. But otherwise, Himiko is going to be absolutely amazing on this team. And just like that, we already got our first proc of Whimsicality. We almost have Himiko's ult too, so if she can get hit here. Yeah, there we go. We do need to be a little careful. We don't have a single sustain yet again on this side. Okay, there we go. We got our first Rappa ultimate proc. And like I said, I should, because of all the energy I'm getting, I should be in that for the rest of the run. And we can start off this side with the Whimsicality. Nice. And a Himiko proc on top of it. Okay, with that, we should definitely break the trash can then. And then I'll go for these two. I should probably go ahead and just pop Harmony Trailblazer too. I mean, because of how much weakness we're doing, he almost always has his ultimate. But we can also get another proc from Himiko here. I don't know if that's going to kill off the other enemies. We'll have to see. It didn't. Okay, that's fine. It's very close. I mean, I'll take that extra little bit of energy. We're doing it still really well because we're almost halfway done with wave two. And we still got all these cycles left over here, which is nice. Okay, what I think I'm going to do actually is target this side so that I can maybe kill off the two that are weakness broken like that. Yeah. And then I can go to work here. Oh my gosh, Rappa is so amazing. She's so amazing here. We were so close to the old energy though. Like, I almost always can have my ult energy up. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just pop it here. So we'll start off the next phase in it. And we'll be going into it with the Whimsicality buff, just like we did with Wave 2. And just like that, we're already on to Bronya. So I'm going to refresh my E. That's going to give me lots of break effect. And then we can just go to work. so much advantage of the actual weakness break here and also just making it where i almost always have procs with himiko like right there so what i'll do is i'll try to weakness break this enemy on the left i don't know if himiko is going to be able to do it with her talent here yeah it was actually very close okay that's fine though my priority is getting rid of these big enemies so that they'll stay out of our way and it's just a rinse and a repeat cycle of that especially with ramay's ult none of these should be waking up anytime soon so let me try to kill off this little one there we go. That should make the big enemy come out, which is exactly what we wanted. So I can go ahead and seal them off. And then we also have another Rappa ult usage. So like I said, energy regeneration rope definitely seems like the way here. Like it just, you get it so quickly. If you don't have a signature light cone like me, then I definitely recommend it. All right, let's break these enemies again. And when they're in the middle like that, it's good. So I can keep doing damage to Bronya as well. And just like that, we are at the end of the run pretty much. I just have to go ahead and kill off these big enemies. So let's go ahead and do that with Trailblazer. There we go. And with that, Bronya is certainly weak and getting sealed away nice so yeah wrap a break team oh my gosh 1.1 million there to finish it off and that is a 69k score like i said on that first half if i would have got hit a tiny bit more with fushuan i think it would have been over 30k but i still think that's a really good showcase for both sides so there we have it that is gonna do it for this pure fiction four cycle it was definitely worth having rapper here to wait to get that 40k since with firefly she actually does really well this time around but you really do just need that aoe boost like a blast attack just isn't gonna cut it quick enough as you saw in a lot of those instances as well the main big enemies were too far away from Bronya for a blast attack to affect both Bronya and them. So it was kind of hard to focus both with like a blast attack and still make sure that I have enough damage to clear it in time. But overall, I'm really happy with this. Anytime I can get 70k or higher on a pure fiction as a free to play player, I call that a win. And I can't wait for the new cycle that we'll be getting soon. I'm sure that Rappa is going to be very beneficial on it, no matter what it is going forward.
So that's going to wrap it up. I hope you guys found this very enjoyable since for me, it was really amazing to see how Rappa is able to do in her best in slot setting. I mean, she's been very helpful all around the board in the other game modes. But of course, as an air edition character, she's literally made for pure fiction. So of course, she's going to shine there. I definitely recommend energy regeneration rope. If there's one thing you take away from this, if you don't have S5 of that light cone like I do, or even if you do that, I mean, that gives you even more break effect. So you'll definitely be able to tackle this. Yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.